continuing our coverage of the 2018 Winter Olympics this morning. While the people of Pyeongchang, South Korea, are hosting visitors from all over the world, perhaps one Olympic guest is attracting the most attention. Our Olympic correspondent, Reed Cowan, joins us live from Pyeongchang. And Reed, you came very close to the sister of Kim Jong-un. What's that about? Lisa and Jeremy, it was unplanned for sure, and yes, we did. Her name is Kim Yo Jong, and by all accounts, she is her dictator brother's closest advisor and confidant. And her presence here in South Korea has both fascinated and puzzled people from all over the world. In fact, let's go to some video right now, and we'll show you that encounter. Uh, we found her in the lobby of a hotel, walking through very quickly. She was flanked by people wearing black coats and a heavy armed guard. You know, while she's been here, she's been at arm's length with President Mike Pence. The two did not speak. It was very chilly between the two of them. She's attended concerts, art events, much like you're hearing here behind me at Olympic Park. But despite all of the fanfare, a lot of Americans living in South Korea say they're not convinced this will result in lasting change. Certainly North Korea, you know, their past actions give me a lot of skepticism. There's symbolism in everything they do. I mean, trying to read the Norcos or the North Koreans is almost like trying to read the Kremlin back in the 60s and 70s. All right, so what a fascinating encounter that was, Lisa and Jeremy. By the way, Kim Yo-jong, just a little while ago, got on a private jet bound for North Korea, having extended the invitation for a summit in Pyongyang to the president of South Korea. Time will only tell if he will accept that invitation. Live in Pyongyang, South Korea. I'm Reed Cowan. Lisa, Jeremy, back to you. Thank you. Thanks, Reed.